P and M gang. Fruit and Pre is in the building. Y'all already know when we in the building, we about to shut that building completely down. Y'all already know how we get down. We get on the camera, especially when we together. Y'all know we coming together to get y'all. You know what I'm saying? A little tea or a little little spicy little. You know what I'm saying? Tea. Video. It's, no it's a tea. lot of it's a lot of tea in this. We got a couple of questions here that we're gonna ask. Toxic couple plays agree to disagree. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna say we too toxic, but we definitely could get we there. there. We On there. a rainy day, we <laughs> definitely get a little toxic. Don't take no offense to what we say in this video. These are personally our opinions, and hopefully we don't bump heads in a mess because yeah, this is real questions that we already talk about as couples, and they always lead into an argument. Stay tuned for the whole entire video. Get all the way to the end so that we know that you a real one. And comment down below. We watch the whole thing so that I can know who the real ones is when I'm blessing people for the cash shop but we're gonna go ahead and dive into this video but before before i read the questions out just give me a kiss i want to be on good terms before i read yeah the questions. i respect that i right. read the first question the first question is you should have sex with your partner if they want to even if you're not up for it whoa one, one two three agree whoa i disagree <laughs> Why you can't wait till later? Like, why I gotta do it even if I don't wanna do it? I'm forcing you. Yeah. And I personally should, even if you're not up for it, because it be times where on the other end, like, say I'm not up for it, but I just love pleasing you, so I'm gonna just do what I gotta do. Like, even if I don't want to. Because majority of the time, like, when she be wanting it, I don't be wanting it at that time, but I still give it to her because I just feel like I'm not supposed to fulfill her, her desires. So I feel like it should be vice versa. You sexually attract somebody, it shouldn't take much. Like, that's just, I just, I'm real big on that. Like, if you really attracted to me, how you claim to be. What are you talking if about? I'm, if I'm in that mood, you're going to automatically click. Like, ooh, like, you're in that mood. Like, we there. Like, I just, that's just how I feel. I'm that's not really up for I just feel like, hit me in the mood. Don't just automatically want to do it. I'm saying, but what if you're saying that you don't want to do it all along? Like, it's people out there that's in relationships that they probably just be like, I don't want to right now. But I feel like if you are, like, mentally, emotionally, say all of that, like, invested and attracted to that person, like, if they in that mood, you're going to get them. Because that's how I am, like, with her. I'm going to get with a program. Like, it ain't no nothing. Because if I don't do it, then somebody else will. You got to fulfill your partner on all of their <laughs> desires and their needs. That's just my personal opinion. Y'all coming up on the comment section, you know, couples, because I know that y'all can relate to this. Everybody don't be in the mood for, mood for it all the time. But your ass going to get in the mood, though. The next question is, being friends with the opposite sex. Okay, wait. Where her is girls. That's fucked up. One, two, three. This, this Okay, so we we agree. I feel like you shouldn't like why are you having friends that's a girly girl and you're pulling up on them and you having conversations with them and y'all just alone like things can happen like bro I don't strongly disagree but I just disagree on the yes. tip work. I feel like people should have friends. Like, you know, I don't feel like a relationship should be on a controlling tilt. That makes you don't want to be in a relationship. You should be able to have friends at an extent. You know, I just, I still feel like I wouldn't want her to be friends with no nigga. You know what I'm saying? Only reason why I said it is because I know niggas. I know how niggas operate. I know what niggas do. I know, I know what know studs do. Operate. I know what dykes do. Like, I know how they operate. Like, it's not just, um... Oh, I want to be your friend. Of course not. A nigga going into a situation on the situ on the simple fact that oh she cute. That's all you can think. So you want to dive on that. But I feel like on a, on my perspective, I feel like if a girly girl was gonna be my friend, it could just be like oh she cool. But that's like I don't care if a stud be your friend because you're not attracted to studs. Like you're attracted to girly girls, and it's like. But you're you're friends with girls. So that means if I can be friends with girls, when we're both girls, you can't like, be friends with girls. It's like, no, it's like think about it. Like both it, girls. It's like, it's like, it's like, like, it depends on the girl because the girls be real sneaky these days. Girls be really, really sneaky. Don't care for dudes like I said, my whole life I've been friends with girls, whether it's studs, whether it's girly girls. I have not been friends with dudes my whole life, so that's like a whole type of different. Like, you know what I'm gonna say? Like, it's a whole different vibe for me. Like me, if you're a real supporter, you know I changed and everything. So, this situation, it gets really, really difficult to really judge and to really say because I ain't been this way my whole life. Difficult. I feel like it is. I don't feel like it. I feel like it is because even, it's even like. Even you was a girl, girl, you were still like do the same thing. It's just, you I wasn't friends, friends with no dudes. I was friends with girly girls and studs my I'm whole saying. life. I'm still fruit. I still do me. I still, you know what I'm saying? So it don't make me no real big difference. But like I said, the situation is sticky because you know something your whole life. Like, and then it's like your whole life have to change. Like, you know, when you're in a different situation in a different environment, you adjust. I know that y'all are insecure and stuff, but it's not even that. It's like you have to know, like, 
you have to you have to really know like okay that's the person you can hang around okay that's why the do I gotta be treated like a child like oh you gotta no, it's not even that it's like like okay like your past friends. Your past friends that's girl dressed like they will like flirt with you or say little stuff like this and that and it's no, like you only if I went for it. I'm not gonna go for it because I'm in a matter. serious it situation. Don't matter. They're gonna always do that. Like it don't matter. No, they're it not. Matter. If they know what I got going on, they move on with it and everything. I mean, now that is different, y'all. Like it's 2023. So I was friends with stuff. I was friends with stuff before, but am I gonna go out on that stuff? Before stud? I was friends with studs and girly girls my whole Me life. Too. Like no, you haven't. Yes, I have. I like have. I know you. No, you haven't. The next question is having each other's phone password. This game really wasn't too good. Of agree memory. or disagree? I'm gonna go ahead. One, two, two three. three. Agree. agree. And the only reason I say that is because I feel like I should have your pass, your phone password, just in case like something happened or I need to get in your phone for something or just something like important stuff. Or I just want to pick your phone up and just be like, babe, I'll text her back for you or something. And not having to be like, oh, what's your password? Like, that's some kitty shit. Like, we're engaged. I'm speaking on us because we're engaged. It's like, I don't want to come and ask you, what's your password? I should already know it. Now, your social media, that's different. I agree with it because you don't want to feel like an outsider in your shit. I feel like when you're in a relationship with somebody, you're actually building to come together and bring everything together. So, it's like with the phone password, like, that's some little shit. That's a little step towards, like, y'all really creating a foundation. That's, that's mandatory, like, the phone password, but that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to put the emphasis on that's it. Like, you ain't going to be having my Instagram password. You ain't going to be having my... And we we had those last year. year. Um, This year, we started over a new league. We do not have each other's social media passwords. We feel like that is something... Um, Because we building brands, we building brands, too. That's something personal that you should have. Like, not even on no sneaky shit. It's just... I want to have my own Instagram. It's my Instagram account, you know? You have my phone password. If you want to go on my Instagram account, you could just literally sit there, go on my phone, and I'm going there. Like, it's I easy. But next question. Your partner should be in the front seat and your mom in the back. Okay. Ooh. So, one, two, three. Disagree. You can talk first, but I'll talk last time. I'm going to say disagree because that's person who birthed I love you, baby. You're going to get in the front as soon as she get out. It's, it's, it's comprehensive. We know. Like, we like, already we know. know. So. Like, if your mom get in the um, car, you get But it. I got this thing back. where I rather, I let pre-drive so they're both in the front seat and I'm in the back. Like, that yes. feels comfortable for me. Like, I don't really be liking when she in the back seat. Yes. But if I if it was pushed on the show. Such a gentleman. Yes. Like, like baby, just drive. I'm going to just get in the back. I'd rather get in the back seat. That's, that's just me personally. Yeah, kids, baby. You're such a gentle woman. To a certain extent, like, if you have your, if it's your wife that's pregnant, ain't no way she should be getting the best seat. I, that's how oh, I feel. Oh, that do get your wife, Your wife that's pregnant, that ain't no way sweet. she should be getting the best seat. Nah. But I feel like if it's, like, me, your fiancé, or your girlfriend, of course, like, she got to get the best seat. I ain't gonna lie. My wife going to get in the back. That's pregnant? <laughs> she got the house in the back. <laughs> That was so what what is what is you being pregnant chain those to their I just feel like because first of all, it depends, okay, it depends on why how can't the pregnant too. woman bride a car is a coupe. Like I'm not squeezing back there with my big old baby bump in no coupe. Like, what are you talking about? I'm saying if if, if it's my mama, you should do it with like not be why are you think so that you like feel, that? What like, you feel like, like, like you, you feel like I should get you should feel like I should get put in the bag no matter what? No matter what. Damn, like, you don't get put in the back. So what are you other people?
if one, like, it could be 50 50, but if one person fall, the other person gotta help that person get up. If the, uh, the other person fall, the other person gotta help that person get up. Like, it shouldn't be 50 50. We shouldn't be like, okay, 50 50, 50 50. We shouldn't be like picking stuff or whatever. It I don't like, like shit like that. I ain't gonna cut you out. I just don't really like shit like that. It should be on. like, okay, if you ain't got it, I got you, baby. 80, 80 30, or, oh, my bad, 80 20, 70 30. Like, it should be stuff like that. Not. Picking like 50, you go have, I'm gonna go have. I, don't, I, I really don't. I'm gonna be honest, and I know people like that that do it, so I'm not knocking you, but I don't like that for anything that have anything to personally do with me. We don't do, we don't go half or nothing, we don't do none of that. We pay that, and then, huh, huh, like that's that's how we that's how we operate over here. Like, it ain't no, oh, this, I need more from you over here, or I need your cut. Like, nah, bro, like we're a relationship, we're a couple. All right, if you are one, if you can do it, do it. If you can't do it, then that's when you tap in, like, okay, can you help? But don't be just trying to, oh, I feel give like me that. relationship is never 50 50. I would never go to a, a restaurant, restaurant and say, say split the check. No, it's either I got it or you got, got it. it. Like, like how we do. We got a business together, so we could easily just pay the bills with that. But I'm saying for somebody to have a job, babe, this is my question to you. How would you expect that to go? Like, so if we both had job? two jobs. Of course, me and Pre never expect okay, like that to have two jobs. Class. Yeah. In the same amount of money or one person making they, more money? Uh, it do get sick. Okay, it so both scenarios. So both scenarios, they both making the same amount of money. If they both making the same amount of money, I feel like, um... They should go have... No. I feel like, um... One person should pay like the rent, and the other person should pay like the car, the lights, the water, everything that come after that. But if they, if one person making more, like if the wife making more, I feel like the wife should put in on some of the rent and <clears throat> help the other person. I don't know. We both had jobs, and I want more half of it. I paid, and then um, I feel like the dumbest person should definitely pay, it. and then my wife cover expenses like the food. If I want to pay the rent, you're gonna help me with something. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We're not gonna do that. I don't like relations where it's not a, a give and take. Like, I feel like I should be able to receive something from you just as well as you should be able to receive something from me. One of us not receiving something, then it, it, it's no point in us being in a relationship. Why are you turning me on like that right now? No, real shit though. <laughs> my partner isn't invited, then I'm not going. One, two, three. Agree. I'm going with you. Look, if my partner is not invited somewhere, like, first of all, this is about to be my wife. This is not no kitty relationship. If she's not invited, why am I going? Like, this is my, this is my other half, literally. Like, why are you not gonna invite my other half? Like, this is my world, my my life. My if life. somebody sit there and tell me, listen, you could go, but don't bring pre. I'm not going. Cause yeah. I feel like, what the fuck you got towards my fiance, exactly. bro? What's your exactly. pressure on her? Because I don't want to kick it with you if you, she can't come. I just feel like I should be if if she having a bit to go to, at least extend it, and I should be able to say I'm not going to that shit, babe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if you know that you see these people in a serious ass relationship, you should never be trying to separate them apart. Mm -hmm. Like that should never be your goal when it comes. To them. I need you by yourself. Why? Why do you think. need me alone? Give me no thing. What, what, what's what going on? Like, what, uh, yeah, like, uh, what you trying to do with her that you don't want exactly. to know? Like, that's, it go too, it, do, it just go too crazy. Don't try to, don't try to single her out and yeah. make her go by herself and don't single me out because so, I'm going to feel like there's some shit that you got going on that I ain't got watching and y'all want to invite me somewhere and to make sure you extend it and buy it and buy my fiance. Vice versa, because I ain't going to want to go. I'm not going to lie. If y'all say that she can't go, I'm going to be like, I really don't, I really, babe, I really don't want to go. At that point, I don't stay home. Yeah. Right. So this is the LGBT question that we're gonna do for all the lgbt people out there lgbtq i'm sorry um <clears throat> two women can't raise a son <sighs> you ready for this one two three disagree don't ever disagree. disrespect us like that don't ever fucking play with us like that like you real talk strongly disagree. disagree don't like, play with us like what, what we'll raise a son better than a, a woman and a man are raised a guy period so only like, me we don't, we don't need no, you don't we need no. We can take him to go get in their haircuts. We can sign them up for football. Yeah. We can be there with the sports. I can play like, catch with them. Like, they don't not need, oh, you need to be a man. Like, get the fuck out. I was not even raised with my dad in my life 100%. Me too. Like, like I, I see single moms. I see single moms every single every day. Every day. And then I see moms with their baby daddy, but their baby daddy is a deadbeat. So, why can't we do it? Like, especially two of us. Damn, our son gonna have Ooh, some too strong. When I tell y'all, our son is gonna be the hardest okay. son because it's like two mamas. He's gonna teach him how to be clean and fresh. He's gonna like, be smart, and I'm not just talking book. I'm talking street. street. Okay, so yeah, this right here gets a little uh uh uh. You know what I'm saying? Well, let's do it. Books are more important than personality. One, two, 
three. Disagree. disagree. I ain't gonna strongly disagree on that, but I'm gonna disagree because honestly, like the first the first time you see somebody, you look at their looks. Honestly, like you can't say, oh, I looked at their personality. No, you, you don't look love at them. You look at their looks and you be like, she, she, she fine. But then when you look beside her looks and she got a fucked up personality, it's like, I don't want to be with her because her personality makes her look ugly or his personality make him look ugly. Like, you get, you get what I'm saying? So, but looks are still like a little bit important because you don't want to walk around with no, I ain't gonna talk about no, no booger like, looking ass. Bro. Yeah, like, bro, you, you know. like a booger. You like some shit I stepped up on the bottom of my shoe. Like, I when, got I, flaws when I met Pre, I, I want to say looks and shit, y'all, but when I met Pre, bro, she was butt booty. Like, she had a little ponytail with the chip <laughs> on, a bunch of bumps on her face. Like, she was young in middle school wearing the same shoes. Like, I'm so oh dirty shit. God. Like, when I met her, and I was fucked up about her, so that's why I can't really say the looks. <laughs> She bro, had thin hair. Yeah, draw away and track. Looks never been for me. You know what I'm saying? I never went towards the, the prettiest or, you know, the, the nicest it's looking plus. person. It's a plus. Yeah, I'd really be rocking with your person. That she had asked me before. She was like, why are you liking me? This yes. is middle school. When she started, this she started, middle school. She started liking the kid, y'all. I didn't even see her like that. Like, she was my backbone. She yes, started liking me. we was me. friends before I started liking her. But then I'm like... I love her personality. Like she, she likes me because my personality. She my have looks. a personality turn. It's like, damn. I was so funny. You can make me laugh. I was like, ugly. You so genuine. Like you. Like she literally can make me laugh. She'll talk to me like a friend. Like she'll be like, Yo. like you really have to do this to feel yourself. Yeah, you like, I would tell her to stand up like, 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 Trying to take it there with her like that. But I had them with the kick in her and shit. You know, oh, kick. Y'all don't want me. I gotta go like kick. kick. Oh, that was when you really was spitting that game and you was back in the day on some kitty shit. shit you you think kick. if we log in, we're gonna see our, our old man? Nah, you know, when you logged out, it deleted everything. What? Yes, that's how kick was. When you log out, you delete everything. Dang. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, yeah, I disagree because I really, I like people for, for them. Like, you gotta, you gotta be able to. You gotta be able to, this person, this, 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 the way that I am, this soul, bro, you gotta be able to touch it. Like, I touched it. Yeah, you touched it. You touch, you, 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 your elbow hit it a little bit. Yeah. We gonna head on out. Fruit and pre is out. Yeah.